I have been tweaking the engines and I think I can get one tenth more warp power without shaking us apart. That's great. We can always use the extra speed. Captain I wanted to do some checkups while things are quiet. You are near the top of the list. Maybe now. In a little. Let's see this performance first. Relax. You might not get another chance for a while. Captain's log USS Columbia on routine patrol in the vicinity of planet K2 to 18B, which the crew just calls the epic planet. There is not much out here at the moment. We have been on an extended cruise and are looking at the possibility of some rest, though the epic planet is not specifically on our patrol area. Well Captain what do you think? I've been practicing. Very nice Ensign. I recognize you from engineering. Thanks. I need to go on shift down in engineering now. My lord, I am here for your service. How is the installation coming along? I need to bring my intellect and greatness to your world. The installations in the pyramids are complete. The control mechanisms are ready. I await your decree. That is excellent my servant. It is not quite time for me to come through. Continue with your normal duties until I give you the sign. Professor Zoom, I can come back later if you are having guests by hologram. It's okay child. Come on in. How may I help you? I wanted to discuss some of the relics we have been unearthing. They appear to be related to Egyptian artifacts I have seen. Take a seat and we will discuss them. Welcome to Earth Pyramids Research Center everybody. In this exhibit we will examine a replica of the Great Pyramid in Egypt on Earth, as well as some startling facts about its construction. Is it true that even today this would be a difficult accomplishment? Yes it would. According to history it was finished in about 20 to 30 years. There are an estimated 2,300,000 stones in the Great Pyramid, and if we go on the high end of that time, it works out to 17 and a half stones approximately per hour, quarried, cut and polished to one hundredth of an inch tolerance. Even with today's tools that would be hard. But we have phasers and anti-gravity units today. That is true. However to use phasers you need to cut through quickly before the melted rock turns solid again. Then you have to lift the rock off of course. I heard once that there were electric lights used in the Great Pyramid. Is that true? Direct your attention to this illustration. Beneath the Temple of Hathor at Dendera inscriptions like these appear to show electric light bulbs. We simply don't know if this was the intention. However, inside the Great Pyramid there was no carbon scoring like there should have been if fire was the light source. So how were they built? I mean if we can't do it today the Egyptians would have been unable to. Well that is the big question, isn't it? Many of us suspect aliens, but no one so far has attempted time travel to that period. The official story stands even today. Thank you. 
A very informative tour. Navigator what is our next stop and cargo drop off? The epic planet. We are closing on it now. We have some dummies in the form of mummies if you can believe it. What an odd cargo. I wonder what it is for. This planet has a pyramid museum or something like that. That's probably why. Check the schedule. See if we will have enough time for some rest. We will need wait for unloading until they are ready. Maybe a couple of hours. That does us no good. Maybe the Orion stop. Commander look at that up ahead. It's some kind of spatial anomaly. I need you to contact Starfleet and tell them that I need to speak with them. Why? Our relics are good but we are not done. I have additional concerns. There is something I saw. What do we have so far? Many of these relics resemble Egyptian artifacts from Earth. I am really surprised. I believe that there is a connection with Earth. Is that what you are concerned with? No there is something else that I am not at liberty to discuss. Contact Starfleet and ask them if they have a ship nearby that can visit. Message coming in from Starbase 15. On viewer. Captain Layton, are you available for a quick mission? We are on standard patrol near the epic planet. There is nothing interesting going on. Good. Proceed to the epic planet. You will be speaking with an archaeologist named Candy Mondo. She wants to discuss her artifacts and something else that she did not specify. 
Have your science officer evaluate her finds. Then if all is good return to your patrol area. Well some action for a change. Navigator, set course for the epic planet. Helm, warp 3. I don't understand why these artifacts are so similar to those in Egypt. What we have found is that there are many connections to Earth out in the galactic neighborhood. I have done some reading about this. The connections to Earth are well established, but what we don't know is which way they work. I don't understand. What does that mean? We don't know if our ancestors spread outward or if aliens brought their culture to Earth, or both. Look at that. A mummy. I did not know they had those here. It must be a robot. I will be out in town for a little while collecting petition signatures. You and Sarah hold down the fort until I get back. What would you like me to program into the food synthesizer for supper? Not a thing. I think I will get some real food for a change. Look out. What is that? It's a mummy. Hey there, get away from that. Leave now. Approaching the epic planet. One spacecraft in orbit. Identity, Federation Registry Freighter. Very well. Standard orbit helm. Reports of a disturbance. I know it makes no sense, but the reports say there are mummies attacking people. Notify security to send down a team. The freighter captain is asking to meet with you. Ask their captain to meet me in the conference room. The archaeologist would also like to beam aboard. She is requesting a conference. Very well. Have the transporter room beam her up. The Pyramid Museum Director Canton Zoom is also calling for a conference. Well I did not expect to throw a party or I would have sent out invitations. <laughs> 